Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, how do I train? How my transition? There we go. Behold, I have returned. So, welcome to the stream. I will turn off this music. And we will continue Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Because apparently I'm such a hipster I refuse to play the newest one just yet. <laughs> or that or I haven't just gotten around to it. Whichever one you want to believe in. Resident Evil 4. What's wrong one? Uh, my health needs to go in? I guess it's going fine. I haven't really done anything yet. Uh... You know, I haven't really had any extra time off or anything. I've just been going to work as usual. Uh, but yes, I had a good trip to Hong Kong the past couple of weeks, which is why I haven't really been around that much. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good trip. Uh, I go to Hong Kong every now and again to visit family. So it's not like a... It's a fairly uh, somewhat regular occurrence. I usually go every other every few years, but I haven't been in a little while because of the whole pandemic thing. So I took. So it has been a while since I've been there. So it's nice to go back after a little while. Let me just. Uh... Okay. So if you remember last time, um, Lewis died. Rest in peace, Lewis. <laughs> and uh, now we've got to go get Ashley, who's over there, I suppose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just taped... I was thinking I'd just I'd examine the painting, but instead the painting just falls over. Hang on, I'll be right with you, Ashley. Just gotta, just gotta loot the place. But yeah, Hong Kong's. I guess Hong Kong's a fun place to go to. Yes, I know. I guess Hong Kong's a fun place to go, and I do enjoy visiting it. But I don't want to live there, just because there's just so many bloody people around. It's very crowded all the time, and it's just very like intense. And I just can't be bothered with it. <laughs> I, I've grown up. I've, I've. I'm too used to growing up in like. Boring old England where everyone's boring. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just, you know. There she is. We, we won't shoot her like we did last time. Help! Yes, I know. Um, how do I even get down there? <laughs> I don't want to avenge my father. It's too much work. I'm too, I'm too lazy. I guess that's this whole area scooped out. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Hong Kong sucks too much fun there, exactly. <laughs> I hate fun. No fun allowed. Um, it's locked. Can't leave Ashley behind. Okay. How do I get down? Unless I just jump down. Guess not. How do I... Yes, 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 I know. How do I get down there? Hang on, I'll be right with you, Ashley. Am I being stupid? Like, is there like a stair I'm missing? Gotta shoot her free. Is that how it works? Oh yeah. Hang on, let me... There we go. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> 
talk about near-death experience. Ashley, get out of there! Get out of there, boy. Huddling in the corner. Where are you? Where are the enemies? Good thing their heads explode pretty easily. I should probably use a rifle for this, really. I got a lot of rifle ammo. <laughs> it's fine, Ashley's fine. She's just having people's heads explode right next to her. It's not traumatizing at all. You okay, Ashley? Let me shoot the door. Ow. Hang on one sec. You're very, very close to like shooting Ashley. Where's the... You, motherfuckers. Need to get those headshots in. Ah, you missed. Hang on, Ashley. Yeah, I know, I know. I can see you. It's a good thing the aim's not too great. You know, it's weird because, like, now I'm just aiming with the control stick rather than, like, the late, the Wii pointer. And it's just, like, playing the regular version. Although, I guess uh, using a sniper rifle and motion controls would be a pain in the ass, so I guess I can understand that. I got the key! I can get out! Alright. Do your thing. Oh boy, now we get to be Ashley! Sure, Ashley and Leon share like a single brain cell. Do I just stealth past this guy? Guess not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Why didn't she do that earlier? <laughs> Hang on, I can just do this. <laughs> Outsmarted. Outplayed. Hang on, what's this? Throw. Oh, I'll try wait until he's nearby and then... <laughs> Fucking get sh get wrecked, motherfucker. <laughs> oh boy, motion controls. <laughs> 
Oh fuck, he's still alive. I thought setting him on fire would actually like do something. Well, that shows what I know about fire. Oh, hang on, wait, I got, I got some more. <laughs> Ow. I can't. Ow. Well, I'm nearly dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know about the glitch about actually suplexing. I think what you have to do is you have to, um... You have to kick the door when an enemy is near it. From what I understand. Oh, hang on, I should have. Oh, fuck. Looks like... It's oh hang on, there's a whole thing here. Oh, is this just like a safe spot? Yeah, again, I don't know if it's still feasible to do it. I could try it, but I don't think it'll. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, time to get kidnapped. It was fixed in the PS2 version. Yeah, that's. I think it's only the GameCube version it really weak, works in. And this this Wii version, I think, it is based most kind of on the PS2 version. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Why do I even open, open that gate? Oh, hang on, I think I need to lure them both into that first room and then lock the door. Maybe that might be an option. <laughs> Bug that made the one handgun super de strong. <laughs> hey, shit! Okay, yeah. Back out. <laughs> Eat shit! <laughs> oh, damn it, I burned myself again. I think that's big enough. Hello. That's me. Uh -oh. I forgot to pick up the herb. Nice try. I don't think this is actually quite... I might need to... Oh, fuck, he was right there. Yeah. I might need to use the uh, the fire. Hang on, let me just... Consume the herb. I did it again. I oh, one of them's dead anyway, so... Is he not going to go in this room? I thought you had to, like, lure him in. There we go. And then I just close this door. Alright, now, now I can operate the lever and shit in peace. Um, what else is in this room? Oh, I'll take some pesetas. Oops, I didn't want to do that. But I might as well. Aha, try and get me now, idiot. I guess there's nothing else in this room. Let's crank that.
It's like I'm really operating a real crank. Is there anything in the fireplace? I feel like there'd be something in the fireplace. I guess not. Well, see you later, suckers. That's the load level door. What's in this door? Got the spinel. If only Ashley could just have a gun. If she gets ammo, why not get a gun? Butler's memo. Knowing that S Signor Roman Salazar had no family, Lord Sadler must have used a strong faith in the Los Illuminados to, to his advantage to talk to Salazar into undoing the seal of the Las Plagas once done by his ancestor. Salazar would never do such a thing unless he was in some way being used unknowingly. I should have sensed the Lord's dirty scheme sooner. I feel I'm partly responsible for all of this. I have no idea as to what the Lord is planning, but Salazar is, was just being used. It's too late now, however. Senor Salazar has already taken the la the plaga into his body. There is no turning back once the plaga has turned into an adult in the body. The plaga parasite will not die unless the host dies. There is no cure. Perhaps Salazar may have been vaguely aware of the Lord's plan all along. But it's hard to tell. Nevertheless, there is nothing I can do about it now. I have served the Salazar family for generations. I am prepared to continue my services until the very end. Oh, what a nice butler. Hey, I feel a draft down there. Maybe there's a secret passage on the other side. Let's see if there's anything else in this room. Huh? Wait a sec, there's a round hole in the center. Oh, I guess I need a key. Oh, I guess I'll come back to this area. Ah, flashlight. Oh, what was that? Is that a push? Oh, I guess I won't push it that way. Which way should I push it, though? Press the switch. Pressing random switches is always a good idea. I don't even know if there's a point in combining the red herb at the moment, because Ashley's health is so low that a single green herb fulfills it completely. So it might be worth just saving the red herbs for Leon. Assuming that she gives the items to him. I don't know if she does or not. She does, so save what you can. Okay. So this is one of those... Oh, it's a funny puzzle. What's this here? No! Okay, maybe that's the thing I need for the thingy. Oh no, that still lets me through. Okay. Ooh, spooky. Spooky music. She'll still be hurt. Yeah. 
Oh, she just has to not get hit. I mean, it's, it's pretty atmospheric. I guess this is kind of like a change in how the soundtrack is done in Resident Evil games, because in the previous Resident Evil games it was kind of like, I guess, very action movie style, and then here it's a lot more like Silent Hill, where it's just like ambient droning noises a lot of the time. Looks like all the pieces form a symbol of some sort, but I can't really tell. Ah yes, one of these puzzles I can never, ever get right. You might be here for a while, depending on how stupid I am. I'm very stupid. I mean, I'm, I think I know what picture I'm supposed to make. But getting to it... I'm, I am bad at starting block puzzles as well. <laughs> I just... I just can't sort of visualize the path I'm supposed to take. Meanwhile, this incredibly like tense and dramatic music is going on, and you're just looking at this. <laughs> okay, oh god. Hang on. Fuck, I don't know, man. <laughs> Damn it. Get anywhere with this. I'm just going in circles at the moment, aren't I? I need to like think outside the the small three by three box that I put myself into. Is this in the remake? Is this stupid fucking puzzle in the remake? <laughs> oh god. Look, I can... No, I don't think I'm doing it quite right. Why am I? No. I'm getting this completely wrong. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Like, it's so... I feel like I'm close, but not really. Man. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> I feel like I need to like... I think I got it. I did it! Me smart! Watch as I die now and have to redo that puzzle again. Ooh, fancy. Uh oh.
No, oh, fuck. Now we're in Dark Souls. Duh. Uh, I'm out of here, fellas. Don't mind me. <laughs> Fucking get me out of Anno Londo. <laughs> so, wait, are these like zombies or ghosts or what? <laughs> like, what is this? Are they just like. Are they robots? What's going on here? Okay, we should be good. Let's blow this joint. Bury this, you fucking casual. Oh, fuck. He's got a sword man right there. Right, I'm out of here. <laughs> so what, what, what did I even get? Key treasures. Uh, I got a family heirloom, a serpent ornament, wall relief in the grand hall. I don't. I don't even know if I've seen that. They have plagas. Okay. Okay, so they, they just have, like, parasites inside the suits. So is there, like, people in the suits? Is that what's going on? They're just... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool. I do kind of like them, even if they're completely unexplained and don't really make much sense. I think, I like to just think they're automatons or something, you know, like... I mean, there's already, like, weird traps and stuff in the Resident Evil. You might as well just make, like, automaton suits of armor a thing. If I was... Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Finally, we can continue our date. That was a, that was a pretty short chapter. I think that was just... Wasn't that just one chapter after Lewis died? I guess that was like a whole chapter in itself. I don't know. There, there's probably... I don't know. I mean, maybe there could be like some weird insects. The thing kind of monster inside the armors, but I just like to think that they're just automatons. Considering they're completely immobile up until the moment you activate like a switch, I like to assume that there's some kind of device that activated them, you know? Let's see some items from Ashley. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Oh, you're so kind. You're so nice. Hang on. Shit, I should have put the red... Damn it. <laughs> I should have put the red one with the yellow one. Whatever. It's fine. I guess it's not a big deal. Like the wacky Salazar statue, <laughs> exactly. I mean, there's already enough weird shit in this castle. You might as well just... Add robot armors to the list. Ah, oh, what a touching moment we have here. How are you seeing I'm this? Spoiled thanks to your interruption. Yeah, we're on a Why date. Do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off. <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script, so don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Well then. Why don't you show me what a first-class script is like, through your own actions? This isn't even, like, 
actual dialogue. This is just stuff in the recording room when they were recording the lines and Leon's voice actor was like, this script sucks. <laughs> and he was having like, an argument with the director. That was probably what was happening. And that's how it became one of the most memorable scripts of all time. Dave Wittenberg, just, just say whatever you feel, man, this shit sucks. <laughs> Apparently, like, one of the reasons Leon has so many weird, like, one-line equips is because the localizer just decided to add them in. Like, apparently, originally, he wasn't even supposed to have these this many weird lines in him. And then whoever localized it just thought, yeah, you know what, give him these stupid one-liners. Which is probably why, like, in later Resident Evil games, like Resident Evil 6, he doesn't really have that same level of stupidness. I don't even know where I'm going. Right, let's, let's check out where the train... I think the train backtracks to a different area of the castle, but let's have a look at it. Choo-choo! Local Asian folks had free reign back in the day, yeah. Yeah, isn't, isn't like... Wasn't it revealed the the Skies of Arcadia translation was literally just them making it up? Like, they didn't have... They didn't even, like, translate the dialogue, really. They just talked about how they thought they sh the characters could have talked, more or less. Something like that. Ah, oh, yeah, so back in... I was about to say we're back in this room, but I don't actually remember this room. Some cases they didn't get a script. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I think they were just a bit like... Even the, the actual companies were kind of unhelpful in what they were allowed to give to the localizers or whatever. Okay, I, still, I don't have the... I'm still missing an item. Have I been here before? I don't actually remember. I'm just saving again just for the hell of it. Even like, the, the other thing I heard was like, the original Sonic comics back in the day. Um, you know, back when like, the Archie Sonic comics back in those horrifying Ken Penders days. Apparently like, Sega were just very unhelpful, like they just ask for, they'd, they'd ask for like, stuff about lore about what to even write about, and Sega just didn't give them anything. They'd ask for, like, copies of the game, like Sonic 3, just to know who the hell Knuckles was, and they were just like, no, get the game yourself. <laughs> We're not giving you anything. <laughs> so that's why, like, the Sonic comics just go all over the fucking place and completely different from the Japanese canon, because that they had nothing to work with. And I guess, I guess Nintendo was a bit like that as well. I mean, you had, like, the early, like... Uh, Zelda cartoons, which didn't really make a lot of sense. But that's just because I had so little to work with, I suppose. Have I been here? I'm, like, completely lost now. I think I have been here, yeah. I'm back. So there's a merchant down there, there's another room there. Okay, I guess I don't really need to be back here, really. I need to go back to the, uh... Back along that train ride we came from. Yeah, didn't really have internal documents about the world, I guess that makes sense. This isn't where I came from. Don't need to be here. I guess that's why, like, that's why Sega are, at the moment, I don't know if they still are, but they were hiring Sonic Law people just to keep track of the, the law they've got now that they're trying to actually make some kind of continuity. Because every Sonic game's just been, like, you know... It's kind of been self-contained, more or less, with the exception of maybe the gap between Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And, and Shadow. After that, they just kind of stopped bothering with a proper canon. And now they've, they're trying to actually tie things together, which... Could, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but we'll find out, I suppose.
Wait here. All right. <laughs> Along the, whatever the fuck this is. Wacky things with beast machines, yeah. I don't know. I guess. Can't I just send this back? I guess I can't. Well, have fun, Ashley. <laughs> She'll be alright on her own, right? Let's do like the Resident Evil Zero thing where you can control your. Oh, yes, Bowser's Castle. <laughs> Remember this part? I was going to say, you should do the Resident Evil Zero thing where you can just switch between the two different characters at any point, even if they're in completely different areas. Uh. Uh. I genuinely don't even remember anything about this. Uh oh. Uh. From here on out, everything's plain absurd. Well, only now. Oh, hang on, I see a guy there. Is this in the remake? <laughs> Probably is. Oops, I missed. I wonder if I can just sort of snipe his head around the corner, because, like... The controller does vibrate if, he's actually, if you're actually around like a shootable part. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't mind me, Ashley. I'm fine. How come there's no... Hang on. I swear I couldn't hear any reloading sounds, but I don't know. So long, suckers. Enjoy the bath. Now it's just Castlevania. I mean, what's that? Lava levels and the ca Dracula's castle? Oh, there probably was. I don't know. Who am I kidding? Oh, damn it. I thought I could, like, quick scope him or something. Yeah, that's a good point. I like the fact that the castle has an automatic train system, but you still need a man to operate the fire, the fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> the hell's this? Illuminados pendant. Is that something I sell, or is that important? Ah, it's a sellable, sellable thing. Might be some part of something important. I don't remember picking this one up. No, I guess not. Great. Duh, fuck. 
Where'd you come from? There's a lot of guys here. Now's a good time to uh I'll use a full heal. There's a lot of these guys. Hey, shit! <laughs> yeah, that was close. These guys just... Yeah, I mean, it's the RE engine, isn't it? So, they, I don't know, the, the UI just seems very similar to all the other Resident Evil games after 7. You know, like, it, the thing about Resident Evil 4 Remake. I mean, I guess it's maybe, I don't know if it's a good thing or not that everything's just become so standardised now, because they're just using the same engine, which is fine, it's a good engine, it looks really good. Um, how do I get past this, eh? Does the head turn when he shoots? What's wrong gun? I guess that works. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of game UIs are very... I mean, there's obviously a lot of thought that goes into it, but it is definitely a different style now. I think a lot of game UIs nowadays are a lot more cleaner and... Uh... Well, Resident Evil is definitely a lot more clean now, whereas here the UI is just like, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. It's just like... <laughs> it's fine. But they added like texture and like rust effects to the you see on the top menu and stuff, and the butt bit behind Leon is is kind of it's like a it's like you're looking at some kind of physical objects. You know what I mean? Like it's weird. It's a certain type of style. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just different, I guess. But you don't see so much of that these days. I'm not saying you don't see it. I think. Dark Souls still kind of has a, like a, or maybe Elden Ring has a kind of like certain art style where it looks like you're looking at pages in a, like a script or something. It's got that sort of, um, sort of leather bound appearance to the UI. I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. 
Uh, Ashley's still here. Did I even get any? What did I even pick up? Oh, the lion head. Okay, so we can go back. Hi, Ashley! Nothing wrong with JPEGs. I think most aren't most textures like PNGs now or something. Wait, hang on, I went the wrong way. I have to use the automated train system that this castle somehow has. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, I guess if you compare the UI to save, I guess the bigger contrast would be something like the UI to Resident Evil 1 or 2, and uh, Resident Evil, the remakes of 2, where Remake 2 has a very, I guess, very, I guess, you know, it's a UI very similar to 4. Well, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, it's more... Modernized, I suppose. Whereas the original UI, there were still aspects of it that made it look like it was part of an att attaché case or something, you know? Like, there was some kind of. I guess they tried to add, like, physicality to it as well. They tried to make it seem like it's part of a game world or an object you'd look at. It feels kind of low budget. I kind of know what you mean. Like, it, I, it clearly isn't. It's a very high production value thing, but. It feels like they put less effort into designing the UI, which probably isn't true, or probably a lot of thought went into it. But I think maybe they just decided that a minimalist style is probably more appropriate and easy to pass. Well, I guess it's a good thing we can just ride these train systems. One of these paintings of anyone in particular. I don't think you can examine those paintings. Well, there's a lot of paintings here. Have I? I guess we haven't been here yet. Oh, this is all new. Wait, did I get a check? I, I thought you couldn't examine them. I can go back in a second. What's all this? What did you just do, Ashley? <laughs> did you step in a trap spring? What is this? Okay. <laughs> well, okay. I, I guess that's going to bother me. Let's go back. Damn it. Wait, hang on, we came from here, didn't we? Let's check that room then. I, I, I swear I went next to it and I didn't see the check sign, but maybe I'm just being dumb. Oh. Yeah, so, so, so you could, okay. But not that one, okay. That's probably what threw me off, maybe. Okay, now let's go back and solve the mystery of the knight's room. Uh, four knights shall lead the path, something, something. Uh, four knights shall clear the path. Well, I think I know the solution to this brain buster.
button. Wait! There we go. That's the right button. <laughs> we did it! We solved the puzzle. We smart. Follow me. I think you've lived long enough. Let's see if you can survive this time. <laughs> Can we just leave? That was not close at all. <laughs> I was about to say we were almost a Leon sandwich, but I can't even like entertain the fact that that was a close call. <laughs> I guess we could have just left. I didn't even think we needed to stop and shoot the things. But yeah, it's just funny the way he just sort of giggles and runs away like a... Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on, Ashley. Let me shoot some dudes. You're fine. Oh, it's a good thing they provided, like, rifle ammo there. He's like the Alfred Ashford of action armies. <laughs> Alfred Ashford is a kind of a funny character. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Alfred Ashford is funny, but I don't know if that's because of the voice acting they gave him. Because he had a very particular laugh about him, which I don't think... <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, like that laugh. Because it just makes him very funny, but at the same time I don't know if it... <laughs> I mean, it works, I suppose. Queen's Grail. Welcome, Claire! No! <laughs> uh, what is this? Oh, so this is a key item. Can't just sell it and make money. Like all the uh, stuff from the Queen's Jubilee coronation that obviously is like, you can't really... <laughs> People are probably going to try and sell off a few years down the line now that the Queen is dead. Right, we're back here. So I guess we've got a cup. Again, I, I just, I'm fairly certain he was designed to be like a bit camp and silly. Um, Salazar, I mean, a lot of this game just feels very much like they were just really leaning into the camp. Is that actually a key treasure? I don't even, like, chess piece. Elegant chessboard. Okay, we're, we're just yeah, again two pieces. What happened to the rest of them? <laughs> it's like the worst game of chess. Ah, your move. Which piece piece are you gonna move? Oh, the same one as last time. Okay. Ah. The campiness of old Ari was due to bad dubbing. I believe that. Welcome. Got some rare things. What are you buying? I might as well tune them up. Hang on. What can I buy? What are you buying? Got a lot of pesetas. What are you selling? I guess I can sell the purple gem because I've got this mask that's missing. I'm probably not going to get the last one at some point. Uh... Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Ah! 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm guessing none of these items I can actually put... Th like, items that actually have... Price. Like, slots to put things in, it'll tell you in the item description. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've got a lot of p mucho pesetas now. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What you got any you healing? Buying? No, you sold out of healing. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like... I guess you might... You can maybe make an argument as well for, like, House of the Dead. Because that's a game that very deliberately leaned into how stupid it was. But the first game probably wasn't... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think if it was intentional or not. I mean, maybe it's an arcade game, so they probably didn't take it that seriously, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, House of the Dead 2 especially became very, sort of, popular because of its silly silly one-liners and silly lines in it that were just very poorly acted. Suffer Like G did and all that. Um, I don't know what to buy, really. I don't. I kind of want to buy a new gun, but that's just going to take up more space in my inventory, and I don't know if I want to commit to that, really. <laughs> People of the AMS, I am Goldman. Um, I think, to be fair, I think it was only like House of the Dead Overkill that really went super self-aware. Which is fine, I suppose, as like one game thing. <laughs> and then there's the House of the Dead remake. Which was also very campy, and I think that was deliberately so. Um, Ethan being mauled was a good story though, wasn't it? I mean, it was something. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it was an interesting plot thing. The thing is, I don't know how to feel about Ethan, because he d he's, he's kind of a weird character in that he's both like a faceless protagonist and also a character with a backstory, and it's a bit strange. So I'm not sure how to feel about Ethan as a character. Like, every other Resident Evil character seems like they have some kind of backstory. Whereas Ethan was deliberately just, like, man who has wife. And that's his entire plot. <laughs> that's his entire backstory. He was just supposed to be, like, the player character. But then they actually gave him more story through 7 and, like, 8. So it was a little bit weird. <laughs> you could say that Ethan didn't break the mold. That's... That... That that's a good pun, you guys. <laughs> I'm tempted to buy the revolver just because I have a revolver ammo, but I don't know, man. I don't know if it's worth the. Uh... Come. What, what, what do I even come? What do I even have in my inventory? Bang. Got three. Mm, yeah, I got three magnum rounds. It probably isn't worth it. Any time. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll wait. What for, uh, I'll, maybe I'll upgrade what I got. So let's. Well, how can I upgrade the shotgun? Let's just make it more powerful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, TM Tump. Is that all? <laughs> Might as well spend Thank some pesetas there, and we'll uh, leave it for there. And I guess this is the shooting gallery range, so we can get more lovely bottle caps. Yeah, you're fine, Ashley. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go have some fun. Welcome! For this game, you'll need to use weapons that I've selected. You got back from making soup? Um... Was it good soup? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. What did you miss? We went to the, the Castlevania area, the Bowser's Castle area with the lava, and then we... Shot some guys, and then we solved the puzzle, and then... What even after the half after the puzzle? The gun, yeah. Ding. And, and now we're playing shooting gallery. Why 
Why are there flies everywhere? Easy peasy. Oh, I didn't get any prizes though. Oh yeah. Yeah, we were talking about like um Ethan's the the mold. The twist that he's actually a guy made out of mold. And I was thinking about I wasn't really sure how to feel about Ethan because he's basically like a faceless protagonist in the first game. And then as the games went on they gave him more like backstory, I suppose. What the oh. Damn it. I was hoping I'd just shoot around because I didn't want to bother moving. I think one complaint people damn it one people complaint people had about the Wii edition is that comedy laugh track. <laughs> one complaint people had about the the Wii edition is that it's too easy to get headshots because you can just point and shoot. Oh, and I guess I can kind of see the argument for that a little bit, but let's go around. But man, it feels pretty good being able to put and shoot, I just gotta say that. I mean, I guess it is kind of telling that, like, Resident Evil 7 got a whole bunch of, uh, DLC. And none of it revolves around Ethan, with the exception of maybe like the funny, weird, like, roguelike death mode. There was like a bunch of story DLC and it all focused on other characters, like Zoe and, uh... And Zoe. And Zoe's dad, or Zoe's, like, uncle, who punches people. And Chris Redfield. <laughs> it removes one of my biggest complaints about RE4 and 5, which is the random wiggling of the laser pointer. I guess that's true, yeah, the accuracy is basically how accurate you are, rather than, like, the arbitrary, like, wiggle, um, like, the, sort of, the game adds sway to your aim, doesn't it? Alright. Ding. Again, like, being able to shoot that thing way off in the distance is probably a lot harder on an unlock stick. Damn it. I say that as I miss a whole bunch. But on the other hand, if you do screw up shots, you know it's your own fault rather than the game's. Damn it. Damn it. See, like that. Shouldn't be able to get that. I mean, I got the prizes. Well, that's it. I got the got all the bottle caps. Let's see what we got. Um, let's have a look. See, second row, I guess. We got Don Jose. Uh, comprende? Is that Darth Vader? <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> you could... Wait, hang on. Can I... 
I was wondering if you could do like if you could maybe write re I can't like reposition this. I wanted to do like one of those Wojak memes of the man pointing or like or was it like average average X fan versus average Y enjoyer or something. <laughs> one of those like stupid reaction images. <laughs> That's kind of what that reminds me of. Ah, yes, the bottle caps of angry, angry Spanish people. I got the whole set of angry Spaniards. Alright, let's play this joint. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Is he a doctor? Dr. Salvador. Huh. I wonder what he's a doctorate in. Right. Where to now? A doctor in face removal. He's a maxillofacial sur surgeon. I think that's what you call it. Maxillofacial surgeon. It's like a surgeon who like specializes in facial operations and stuff. Oh. He's he's probably just like a history professor. Yeah, linguistics, something like that. <laughs> oh, hang on, green gem. Ha ha ha! One second. Wait, maybe I should, like, get the other treasures. Hey, Mr. Merchant Man, I got the thing! the merchant. Too far. There is... I don't know about... Oh, it's the wrong door. I don't know about no Spanish, but there is like the, f the cut scene where he encounters the first villager. Instead of just being like American English man going up to the guy who clearly doesn't speak English going, have you seen this person? He actually like says a word of Spanish to him, he actually says, like, have you seen the police officer who went by here? In Spanish. So he actually, like, I don't know if he knows Spanish, but he makes some attempt to communicate with them, you know? There's a door. I'm trying to find where they mentioned was. Welcome! And yes, they actually speak proper Spanish as well. They don't speak, like, <laughs> like Spanish Spanish, not Mexican Spanish, because they're in Europe. Um, okay. I can sell this here mask. I guess I can sell the purple gem because I won't need it anymore. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Hello. Hello, person. Uh, Ed, welcome to stream. Um. The lip syncing was off, so maybe they were speaking Spanish and just translated for the viewers. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I guess it'll make sense for most of the na notes in the world to be written in Spanish. But then by that logic, most of the characters should be speaking Spanish. Hang on, I, this is why I used the cup, right? Ah, I'm missing an item. I don't like how Metal Gear Solid 3 has them speaking in translated Russian. Yeah, they should in theory they should all be speaking Russian, but they're just they're just not. Oh, 
Oh, the, the guy who ran in, yeah. Well, pretty much any other character, really. I mean, I think it's just one of those things you have to just accept when, like, watching certain types of media. Uh, any of these guys just gonna come to life? Nice dodge, Ashley! <laughs> Can I just like, I can s clearly see he's gonna kill me, can't I just shoot him? Well, I guess his arm is impenetrable. I guess this is one of the reasons I tend to watch like it's why I sometimes like choose to watch animes with dubs if it fits the situation, or if I watch it with subs if it's specifically like in a Japanese high school, you know what I mean? Like it's weird if Japanese high school students are speaking English. But I won't mind watching a dub if it's like some other setting. Like May the wrath of evil before the one who disturbs this holy grail. Hang on, let me just explore this room a bit. What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, maybe I should just get Ashley to uh, sit outside the room while I deal with whatever the fuck is going on here. Now I've got... Or even Cow Cowboy Bebop is one I quite like watching it uh, dubbed. Because I feel like it makes a lot of sense there. Wait! Dubs, I think, these days as well have gotten a bit better. I think everyone gives dubs a bad rep because, um... I mean, they usually... Maybe some people consider them inferior to, to subs, generally. But I guess people sort of have bad memories of, like, four kids and stuff. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop is the case of the JP voiceover not being very good. Oh, is that... Is, I've not actually watched the JP dub very much. I've only watched it a little bit. To stay with the spooky armor, yeah, exactly. All right. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. Duh. Hang on, wait. I gotta do this. So that explains it, sort of. I, I love the on and Smoke theme because it's just very funny to me out of context, you know? Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. Hang on, why, why am I doing this? Ow. Yeah, they're just pluggers and suits, I suppose. Ow! <laughs> He attacks a bit faster than the other guys, I okay. think. You know, I might as well just use another one. I've got loads of these. Ugh. 
Uh. 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 <laughs> That's the upgraded shotgun reload speed for you. <laughs> Second phase. Oh god, reload! Duh! Damn it, I thought I could like... ricochet him. <laughs> Liam getting ganked in Hanno Londo. Okay, let's try again. I don't like a bitch. <laughs> you have been invaded. Oh, hang on, wait. I guess it's... Would this be even more annoying if Ashley was still in the room, you know? Because... Thing. I left her out then. She can just watch me die. I didn't learn my lesson. Not well, so much for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not risk having her there and act as like a potential target for them, even if they don't actually go for her. Because, yes, yeah, they're just going to swing around her fucking their axes and shit. Actually, stay outside. Wait! Ashley has only played one Dark Souls and didn't beat the tutorial. I'm sure we all know someone like that. Hang on. Uh, let's try a different one. I wonder if shotgun's really the best option here. Something they'll like. I mean, that, that knocked the helmet off. Maybe I should just work on getting their helmets off, then use the flash grenade. Except it doesn't always work! Oh, damn, I just got like... <laughs> I, sh I probably should use a more appropriate music, but I'm not familiar with whatever game you just said. So I'm just picking Dark Souls. <laughs> How did I manage to stun that guy? Ow. I 
don't think the game accounts for you being a lefty, no. Right, now's the time for flashy bang. <laughs> Solar flare. Quick attack. All right, eat shit. <laughs> Did it. Okay, I can stop this music. <laughs> We did it! We beat the stupid knights. <laughs> Follow me. I guess I wasn't too bad. I mean, it took me like four tries, but whatever. <laughs> Should have raised their decks, yeah. <laughs> or that they had plenty of poise. That's one thing I can't fault them on. Oh, was this here? Sample re retrieved. As you may have heard, Louis Serra has been disposed of by Lord Sadler. The sample is back where it belongs. I had hoped that the whole matter could be resolved without troubling the Lord. However, as long as the sample is safe, we can all rejoice for our time is nearly at hand. Now that the sample is back in our safe hands, it'll be a bit more difficult for the troublesome woman to get it. In light of all this, it's unfortunate that Syrah has to go. Like us, he would have had a bright future if only he had shown more faith in our beliefs. As for the other two Americans, the Lord has left the matter in our hands. We must not disappoint the Lord. We shall capture Ashley and take her to the Lord and dispose of the American agent. I see. You know, I'm really tempted to just use this on what I'm dealing with. Man, they all got helmets. Oh, well, two of them got helmets. Wait. I guess I went that bad. <laughs> they kind of just stood there and let me hit him. Follow me.
<laughs> yeah, it took them a good few seconds for them to click on the fact that like one of their heads blew up. Aren't you not supposed to be able to roll? What do you mean not supposed to reload the gun? Oh, the rifle? I don't know. Isn't it on the side? I don't know. Actually, yeah. good point. I don't know. I guess, yeah, it's going through the scope, isn't it? Don't think too hard about it. It's, it's a video game. <laughs> okay, well, what's next? I haven't upgraded it that much. I guess not. Hmm, plenty of tump ammo, though. Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> snakes. I'll take that fucking chicken egg. Uh, you know, for some reason I just wasn't expecting snakes inside the castle. I thought they'd be in the village. Okay. Just some kind of eldritch abomination in the center of the <laughs> castle, that's fine. Well, I'm sure it means no harm. <laughs> Why didn't they do that sooner? Great, more of them. Ah, the bug men. Ah. Ow, my face. What the? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> you can shoot it down for goodies if enough bullets. Do I really want to use all their bullets up? Oh man, I gotta like do all this again. Oh, well, this time I got money instead of tump ammo. Oh, it didn't get me that time. Can, you can just shoot this down. What ammo do I have the most of? I guess I got a lot of shotgun rounds and a lot of pistol rounds too. Is there a ledge outside of there? Well, I guess if it takes too much ammo, I can always just reload the save. Actually, I'll save the temp ammo. You'd wait for after the cutscene. Well, whatever. No. Mm, yummy egg. Ow. Ow, my face. <laughs> I, I can probably should use, like, more firepower with, like, this many enemies in the room. 
It's, it's fine, I didn't need my face anyway. Alright, now it's just giving me one Timp ammo. And one piece of gold. Oh. Shit. Damn it, I was slightly out of range. Damn, he's slithering out of my view. There you go. <laughs> I like how I can give the egg the, the egg to Ashley. It just reminds me of that. Would you like an egg in this trying time? More firepower. There. Damn it. Damn, they're just kicking me around. <laughs> what the fuck are we getting stun locked? Jesus. Well, I guess I didn't take too many bullets. I guess I might as well just like unload on this thing and see what I get. Got a lot of TMP ammo. Ah! That wasn't that much at all. Oh god, am I safe standing where? Okay. Oh. <laughs> so much for that. Oh. Isn't this only good if you have the. Well, I guess you could sell them individually, I suppose. I was thinking, like, I don't have the, uh, the lantern. That you normally get from it, that, that you normally put them in, unless there's another lantern later on. Yeah, I'll save some of them, just in case there's another lantern. I think it's in the area. Okay. Oh, the dong noise with, like, the... Yeah, that. I'm pretty sure they use that exact same noise in the Resident Evil 3 remake. Because there's, like, one bit where, like... Jill is getting like tentacled by the uh, the nemesis, and there's she sees like an iron gate she can drop on Nemesis, and she shoots the iron gate, and he makes this very comical ding noise. Like it sounds like that, but it also sounds a bit like the frying pan from Team Fortress Two, which is why it made me laugh at the time. There's an open window up there. Yeah, I couldn't. Hmm. Balcony. Can you climb up? Oh, in the hall you came from? Okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't even see this. Good spot, chat. Oh, clearly you know this game way better than I do. Ah uh, ha ha! Red herb? I don't see any herbs. Oh, this is on the other side. Oh, 
I mean, dumb. Clearly, clearly you've played this game a lot. Because I certainly don't remember anything about this. Yes, I do certainly need this, though. Ah. Uh, all good. I guess I didn't really need to climb back up here. But what I could do... Um... Yeah, I feel like, um, I probably haven't played this as much as some other people. I think I've only ever played this, like, once. And it was this version. The Wii version was the first time I ever played this game. It wasn't, I didn't jump in on the PS2 or the GameCube version. Merchant man. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale. Straight what are you? Oh buying? yeah. What do you got for sale? Got some. Is that all? Gonna neaten this out a bit. Got a lot of pistol ammo. Whoops. After that fight, does he so many bug spray? I've got all the bug spray right here. I can spray him with bullets. Or will he sell? He'll sell first aid spray if you have a low enough amount of healing. I get. Yeah, they, I've heard people say this game has like a dynamic difficulty thing. Yeah, thank you. But I don't know how like how that's measured what are really. Why in? Is that all? <laughs> thank you. What are you selling? Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all strength? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the, is that all the, the TMP's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all <laughs> Thank you. Is that all <laughs> Come back any time. Well, let's proceed onwards. Got a lot of I'm pretty loaded with ammo generally. So I guess I shouldn't worry too much, we should just I mean that's not gonna stop me from dying eight hundred times, but you know. Yeah, I think where the TMP shines is just like smacking general dudes in the and setting them up for like suplex or kicking positions. Uh, the bullets kind of go on the side of the scope, but it's still a little bit weird, yeah. I wonder if you can see me, Mr. Kennedy. I can see you right now, you've got a camera. If you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. First, we shall see if you can make it this far. I'll be waiting. Shit. <laughs> like his little... He kind of looked like he was pointing at Leon, but I don't think he actually was.
I, it's funny, I was watching um, the Digital Foundry video on, like, uh, they, they did a video on the Resident Evil 4, the original PC port from 2007, which sucked. But, um, one thing they did point out was, like, the original GameCube version, like, th there was a demo of the original game. And it had, um, you, when you held the L, L, the L button, normally it's the knife. But in the demo, it was the binoculars. So you could bring out the binoculars at any point in the game. It wasn't just like, it wasn't just that, that one point in the village where you bring out the binoculars like the, the man on fire. You could bring out the binoculars at any point in the original game. But what that meant was that the knife was an inventory item rather than something that you bring out like just by pressing the button. And that, they were saying how that was so close to being a disaster, because imagine if you had to like go into the briefcase every single time you wanted to use your knife, and how integral the knife is to the... Oh, hello. How integral the knife is to actually playing the game. They almost shipped the game like that, but that's like the, the demo. They changed it between the time the demo came out and the full game. So that the knife was just like something on the button, like the the shoulder button, rather than the binoculars. <laughs> just got all the Wi Fi ammo just used back, so that's good. <sighs> Alright. Some kind of clock tower, I guess. I did notice those blocks were slightly different colour on my way climbing up. <laughs> Do you remember when there was like people were complaining about... I saw like the people complaining about um, how in the remake everything that's... all those barrels and stuff are like coloured... they're painted yellow so that they're more obvious than interactable item. The years before yellow tape. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, would you prefer that or just have the the item just glow a bit? Because the glowing, I think, stands out a bit more. And just it maybe it looks a little bit weirder. Okay, I don't think we've got any more things to shoot. Oh, ritual preparation. Bugs. Thanks to the efforts of the Novistadors, we have been able to recapture Ashley. We shall prepare for the sacred ritual as quickly as possible and make Ashley an official member of the Los Illuminados. While we prepare for the ritual, those of you who feel inclined can attend to our American friend. We should continue. Be a we should be able to hold off our friend for at least a little while by jamming the gears in the clock tower with something. I think if we can jam the gears in three places, it should give us enough time to prepare everything for the ritual. Okay, so there's one more. I think that they said three, so there's one more block to destroy, I think.
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I get. I, I never. I, I I did point it out when I was playing. I think Resident Evil Eight. But I never thought of it as like a bad thing. It's just one of those things that once you notice it, you can't like you, you just start seeing it everywhere. And I guess it's by design, but it's still a little bit funny. That like everything's just interactable, just covered in yellow tape. Even things like, um, like the 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 battle with the the fish monster boss thing. They paint yellow the bits where you can hide from the ashed rain, and even that bit is like, okay, why are they like? <laughs> Why are they pointing this out for me? And it makes you think, oh, that's why. I'm still missing a block. Well, if they're trying to stop me from reaching Ashley, they're doing a damn good job of it, because it's taking me forever to find the missing bit. Aha. There we go. <laughs> I like how they decided on three as well. They couldn't have just like, I don't know, destroyed the gears or remove a gear and hide it somewhere or something. They just block it in three specific places. How low do I have Resident Evil 4 settings? <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I mean, I don't know, man. The RE engine isn't looking too hot these days. <laughs> Looks like they're going to have to bring out, like, RE engine 2. <laughs> Performance mode. <laughs> well, down I go, I suppose. Nope. We've got people around. Ow. Son of a bitch. Eat shit! <laughs> Oops, right, didn't mean to go out that door. I was just smashing the A button and I <laughs> left the wrong door. Dudes. Duh. I'm just getting destroyed here. Okay, I didn't think that would kill me that quickly, but I guess I, I, I forgot that sides are, like, beheading things. Another bitch. I think it's pretty close for an instant to kill that thing. Oh, 
I need to go up and kill those guys. That works. It's all flex! I guess that fixes that problem. <laughs> Eat shit! No snakes, good. You I have to remember to double tap the boxes in case there's a snake in them. Oh, is that? RE4 remake is serious in cutscenes. He, he, I have, I've watched some gameplay of it and he does seem to have a lot of one-liners during the game. Like, during the, uh, when you're actually playing it, he'll say certain things as you're walking around and shooting stuff. Oh, hello. Hmm, how should I best deal with this? Well, they're very slowly approaching me, so I'll just... Unload all my gun ammo, I suppose. Didn't work quite as well as I thought it would. I think Resident Evil always has like, I feel like it has like some obligation to keep some of the, uh, the, some of the campiness of it. Like RE7 starts off genuinely a little bit like fucked up, but then like by the partway point, the dad has turned into a giant tentacle monster with several eyes. And it's just like, <laughs> and he's still talking to you. Telling you to get the fuck out of his house, and that I think is just kind of very funny. Oh, the god, there's one guy behind me. I think this calls for a. Uh... Just fucking unload.
<laughs> the S in Leon County stands for Suplex. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't, like, go in the middle of them all. Let's try again. <laughs> I guess that's why they put the save point there. Matalo. Hang on, what am I doing? We'll just use this. <laughs> this isn't going very well. <laughs> I, I guess I've just I do have a lot of ammo that's not the problem I like, guess it's just all these fucking enemies alright let's fuck it <laughs> Alright, oh. Ah, enemy. Ah. Ah. He's up there as well. Almost hit me. I got a gold bangle out of it at least. Let me just uh, reload my guns. <sighs> oh, great. <laughs> Oh, 
fuck, it's the, it's the, the blind guys. This room in the remake. Oh god. I can't even imagine. Shit. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, it's one of these rooms, isn't it? Hopefully, this won't take me an hour to beat. Use one of these. Probably use the rocket launcher. I might consider that if this takes me like eight hundred years to beat. Thing. They're fucking stupid. Damn it! <laughs> All right. If it if it takes me like thirty tr like five tries or something, I'll just use the rocket launcher and see if that makes it any better. <laughs> How am I not dead from that? <laughs> my face. Ow. And my stomach. <laughs> you know, I thought that would explode earlier. <laughs> Urge to use rocket launcher rising. <laughs> See all these other enemies as well, you gotta be careful of. Don't forget the bells, I know. Oh 
I didn't even mean to get that bell that time. Ow. Just, uh... Oh yeah, the bells are gone. So I don't even have the bells anymore. See if I can see where they all are before I make a commitment. How does he know? It's kind of hoping he'd like slam into the wall or something. Yeah, like that. Damn it, I thought he would turn around the corner. I'll take out the little guys first, and then... And then I'll blow this joint. Damn it, I thought I could, like, run past that. <laughs> I didn't know where he was going. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> 
son of a bitch. <laughs> it is kind of hard to know where they are when you're not looking at them, and with the tank controls, you do kind of have to be a bit more careful about it. I know, right? Crazy to think about, right? Oh, fuck! I don't know how this guy didn't hear that. Just like Behind a pillar. Hang on, wait, if I. I don't know if it's worth using all my green herbs for this, but you know. You know, now's a real good time to just fucking lay this on them. I guess that works. Well, hang on, is it? did it. <laughs> I had to use the rocket launcher because I got to the point where I was like, you know what, I can see where this is going. You guys can just fuck off now. Christ. <laughs> well, I've got a lot more free space in my inventory now. <laughs> now that I've used the rocket launcher.
Okay, well. Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, I was getting to the point where I think, you know, because otherwise it get to the point where, like, you just hold on to the rocket launcher for the whole game and never use it. <laughs> Is there anything else? Guess not. Okay. Let's mosey. Ashley. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? I don't have a towel. No! Leon! <laughs> hmm, where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. I like how that's the breaking point. <laughs> Everything else he's thrown at him hasn't worked. It's the fucking light trap door when that doesn't fail. That's when he fucking goes serious mode. Leon, you're alive. Also, I feel like there's several points in the game where a grapple hook probably could have come in handy, you know? <laughs> so maybe you have nine lives. But it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! <laughs> he said the thing. Got the crown. Yeah, the... <laughs> I don't know what it is about the your right hand comes off thing that, that's so great, but it really is. Okay, well, um, I got a lot of handgun ammo, so maybe I should try using some of that. Welcome! Oh God, Leon's like looking at all the bats. Some rare things. What are you buying? Can I buy some healing? I can. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I guess I can. What is this? A uh, shotgun? I guess I could buy the. a revolver. I see you have an eye for things. Guns not just about shooting, it's about reloading. You'll know what I'm talking about. W will I? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you selling? Is that all strength? <laughs> oh, I could have picked up the broken butterfly. Oh. <laughs> Is that well, all? <laughs> clearly I'm Thank dumb. You. What are you buying? Miser tuner up. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. It's a backtracking thing. Come back. Was it another one of those like, hey, shoot these blue medallion things and you'll get the thing? Oh, 
I like how it's just, the merchant's just hiding in here. At the bottom of the death pit. Well, the, the, knowing me, the magnum is probably going to be another weapon that I just barely use because I want to save it for the big boss. Time for me to fight the right hand man. I suppose. I don't actually know. are pointing towards the door. But... Wait! I see. <laughs> okay. Where's the elevator? Oh, that won't be important. Oh, the elevator's probably outside, right? Not a hand. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to use the liquid nitrogen tank. Well, I guess his right hand's pretty good at beheading people. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's the elevator. Right, okay. I'm guessing his right hand's just his masturbation arm or something. I don't know. Let's see what's in this door. I haven't been down this way yet. Hmm. 
nothing. It's just like a another room you can fight in, I suppose. Time to try this again. Very grumbly, man. Blech. Shit. <laughs> man, he gets me good. Or maybe it's because I'm low on health, that might be it. But on the other hand, it's professional mode, so who fucking knows? I should try. If this is enough, I might as well like use the full heal at some point. Yeah. Ha happening again. Oh, you're supposed to knock it over. Alright. Now's a good time to... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you gotta be quick. It didn't change prompts, it just gave me like, multiple prompts. So I had to dodge and dodge again. I'll just run around in a circle, see how that works. It's the longest four minutes of my life. Ow. Can I open that door? I thought I had to like wait four minutes or something. Oh! What? What kind of... Fucking... 
Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I saw the other tanks earlier. I thought that was uh, the dodge prompt. Is it time yet? Guess not. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought that, that the timer was already started. <laughs> Clearly me dumb. this in the remake. <laughs> it's hard and hardcore. So now I go back to the thing and turn the thing on. Oh, hang on, I forgot to... There you go. What the fuck? He didn't even do the cutscene where he does the... Ow. I mean, okay, you can complain about some things. I think, like, what the game does do pretty well is that it's the core gameplay mechanic. Like, just generally fighting the dudes is pretty good in this game, I think. Which is probably why a lot of people like it. The, the silly cuts out. Damn it, I pressed the button. The silly cutscenes and all that, that's like the cherry on top. Shit. Oh, I still got him. Ow. Probably should have waited a bit before reloading. Oh, I did the double thing. Eat cold, motherfucker. Still not enough, huh? Was 
It's a good thing there's like 800 arrows pointing me in the right direction of where to go. Is there any other of these tanks around? Guess not. I press the buttons. Damn it. <laughs> You know, I thought, like, 10 magnum shots would be enough, but clearly not. <laughs> Professional really hardens him up. I guess so, yeah. It's taken a lot of, uh... Taken a lot of... Bullet. Well, I've already used my rocket launcher, so there's no turning back now. Let me just go past. How many? I guess you've only got a few tanks. This is probably the hardest fight in the game. I don't even remember having this much trouble with it when I was when I first played it. I mean, I, granted, I played it on like normal mode. This is the first time I've ever done like professional mode, so this is on me. I mean, what are you supposed to do once you run out of uh, liquid nitrogen? Besides cry, I mean. Just die? Or you just wait out the timer, I suppose, right, for the elevator? You can still do some damage when he's not frozen. I could like I mean it's, he seems pretty invincible like he just straight up like has it looks like he's bulletproof I have upgraded it a bit. Damn it. What the f three? I don't know, how did you do this professional? Because <laughs> I'm certainly having trouble.
Uh, get me out of here. I'm not missing a tank of liquid nitrogen, am I? Fire grenades. Oh, yeah, I never thought about grenades. Yeah, I think I think using fire grenades was a bit of a mistake there. Um, maybe I could just use like regular grenades. I mean, that's something, I suppose. Shit. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought like if he's fleshy, he'll be like, if he's like, frozen, the fire would hurt him more or something. <laughs> this right hand's proving to be a pain in the bum. Should give me more liquid nitrogen tanks, really. How is he able to go from above and below at the same time? <laughs> I forgot to heal. I also forgot to, that like running past him doesn't doesn't let you dodge the attacks. He just swipes you. There's only certain attacks you can dodge. I like how it gives you a handgun ammo as well, as if that's supposed to do something against this thing. I thought I could just use the herbicide to pick it up, but whatever. Oh, oh, okay. You dodge it, but you can still get hurt by it.
now we play the running away like a girl game. Ah! Shit. Ah, it is time for me to blow this joint. I've got to say, reloading is pretty cool. <laughs> what? You're not supposed to be able to get me while I'm... Shit. <laughs> I thought I heard him behind me. Oh, okay, it still works. <laughs> no, okay. What? What is it? I, you're, you're, <laughs> what's the point of the dodge if it doesn't actually dodge? I mean, I, I mean, I guess you could probably mod the Wii version if you had the know-how. You just had to like modify the ISO or something and then burn it onto a DVD and then put it into your modded Wii and then you've got Leon and a tramp stamp or whatever. Homebrew for Wii definitely exists, yes, it is. The homebrew for Wii is actually pretty good. I used to have a homebrewed Wii. I'm, I'm actually using a Wii U, which isn't modded in the slightest at the moment. This is like pure unmodded Wii U goodness you're getting. But I used to have a Wii and it used to be home modded, uh, homebrewed. And it was pretty good. You could just play all kinds of shit. And play like region free, uh, like basically unregion lock your Wii, which is always a plus. It's not so much a big deal these days because, like, now I don't think region really exists for games. I can buy a game in like Japan or Hong Kong and just play it wherever. Um, but yeah, like, um, back then games used to be region locked. I have a, a, a Haruhi dance game on the Wii. And that's region locked, and you can't play that without a homebrewed, like, Wii or whatever. Oh, shoot him in the head. Oh, yeah, fine, alright, it's fine, fine, fine. That's how you would <laughs> You can shoot him in the head and stun him, I suppose. Yeah, I, was, I did post videos of that Wii game. It wasn't a very good game, I'll say this now. <laughs> it was actually kind of shit. <laughs> in terms of an actual dance game. But for the novelty and for the how popular Haruhi was at the time. Okay, so it works there. Okay, that didn't work. Press the button.
I mean, for the novelty at the time, because of how popular Haruhi was. I mean, I'm, I'm, I stunned him with the headshot, so I thought maybe that was I was onto something there. Have fun with your joke, it's probably going to be more productive than whatever the fuck I'm doing now. Ow. Yeah, I've been. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Happened again. Like I thought the door would make me invulnerable for a bit. I did it again, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm poorly timing these door openings. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You see, I can I can never waggle like twice, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just have to keep waggling, or just know to keep waggling. Okay. Take I don't know how many times I've died. Six, D8. I think I don't think playing on the Wii is doing me any favors with those quick time events. Cause like if it was buttons, I could maybe do it. But it's a little bit trickier when I have to like waggle and then waggle again, and it doesn't always register. <laughs> you know, I thought it would have given me the option to, like, defend myself, but clearly that was just too much to ask. It's not so much the fact that, like, 
the quick time events are very hard to react to as well. They're pretty quick. What if I use... Let's try this out. Hang on, let me use the, the green herb so I don't die immediately. Okay, he's completely impervious to flash grenades. That's good to know. Okay, I still can't get out. That's great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean... He hams up, he hams up uh, Lewis's death more than he would Ashley. I guess it's understandable. Maybe. I don't know. Probably isn't. Maybe I should just like wait for four, four minutes. I don't like circle around too much. Okay, he just blocks the exit, fine. I'll just stay in this room then, shall I? I didn't even mean to kick. I didn't even mean to kick him that time. I fucking die. Oh fuck. Got you that time. Now, time to cool off. I didn't mean to, I didn't actually mean to kick him, it was just close enough to whip. Fuck, Jesus Christ, I did it. I'm the wiener. <laughs> and now to take my prize, which is to, I guess, attach the thing that he dropped. Is it? It's missing a jewel, right? 
I think it's missing a middle piece. Well, looks like his right hand is not all right anymore. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. <laughs> Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. I kind of like that reveal of Sadler, even though, like, most people would be like, well, I guess, like, he's a new character, so you'd just be like, who the fuck's this guy? It's like a dramatic reveal, it's almost like you're supposed to know who he is, and it's just like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> they gave him a, a, yeah, I think, did they give him more of a backstory in the, um, 80, 21 deaths during that? 82 total, I'm sure most of that 82 was from that other room that I spent an hour in. Okay, um, I'm probably going to end the stream here because I'm feeling tired and I don't know if I can be bothered to do the next bit right now. But I guess it's a good point to end it on a high note after fighting um, the, the right hand guy. <laughs> I've killed over 480 people to save one dumbass. Well, hey, I mean, those 480 people were infected with the plague anyway, the the, the parasites, so. So yeah, that'll, um, I guess that I'll, I'll end the stream there. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching me fail horribly at this game again. Um... Rest in peace. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for turning up everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, I am the now I am the new merchant. I'll sell you all of this stuff. <laughs> okay. Take care, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll stream again tomorrow, but I'm not sure. But okay. Have a good Easter weekend, if I don't see you before then, toodle pip. <laughs>